On Tuesday, you criticized President Trump on Twitter for not speaking out sooner about anti-Semitism. You have critics in your party that say that is the right message, but you may not be the right messenger because you're dogged by your own questions about potential anti-Semitism. What do you say to your critics? Well, these are false allegations, and, and that's why uh, I have 300 uh, rabbis and Jewish community leaders who've signed a letter su supporting me. Five of my colleagues, they said, look, we don't have, I don't have anything to say about this race, but we know Keith, and he's a good man and always has been. That's why, you know, a, a week ago, I was in New York City with HIAS, which is an organization, a Jewish organization, which stands up for refugees. They're saying we were once refugees, and they, uh, and, and they stood out in New York and demanded that we have respect for refugees now. And, uh, I, and when I spoke at that, I invoked the memory of the St. Louis, where Jews fleeing the Third Reich were turned away in Cuba with the knowledge of our government and sent back. Many of them ended up perishing in the Holocaust. I have a long, strong history of interfaith dialogue, interfaith communication, and that's why in my own community, I have strong support from the Jewish community. So these are smears, uh, and we're fighting back every day, but we're fighting back with people who know us. But I just want to say it is critical that we speak up against this anti-Semitism because right now you have Jewish cemeteries being defaced and desecrated. Right now you have Jewish institutions getting bomb threats. We have to stand with the Jewish community right here, right now, foursquare, and that's what the Democratic Party is all about.